our work in Scotland, just like thank Scott for inviting me to say a few words. Fisheries is something you hear an awful lot about. I suppose up to the last maybe 12 months since we had some protests in Dublin, but it's one of our um, industries that's been totally neglected, and not just neglected, but I suppose it's been sold out. Um, looking at coasters made to dry, which Scott very cleverly, thank you, has drawn up, and that is exactly what's happened to fishers. Those posters actually arrived down in our area, and I have to admit that I was supposed to start putting them out, but by the time I got to them today, most of our lads put them out, so that's good. Um, so why are fishermen concerned about Lisbon too, and have called for a no vote? The Irish Fishermen's Organisation have called for a no, and because we're very concerned, and we were talking about scaremongering, and why the Yes campaign were, are, are scaring people, but we are scared in the fishing industries. We're very scared around the coastal communities of Ireland because we have lost an awful lot of our of our fisheries and we're concerned that with Lisbon we may actually lose more. It is said that we've gotten 37 million, it's a fact that we've gotten 37 million in funding from Euro. In actual fact, Irish fishermen have given, are from Irish waters, there's been an estimated 180 billion, and we say up to 200 billion euro worth of fish taken by foreign trawlers out of Irish waters. That is, for every five euro, two euros we've gotten from Europe, we have given five euro back. So we have nothing to be ashamed of. We have paid our dues to Europe. Um, it's estimated that all, fishing, that all fishing activities in Irish territory waters from 1970 to 2006, that up to 40 million tons of fish have been taken to date. The EU fishing industry is worth 20 billion. We roughly have 727 million. The whole industry has been worth, including salmon farming. According to EU statistics, 40% of most of fish going into Europe markets have come from Irish waters. 40%. Um, sorry. We went, to, we went to Brussels there last September to, to meet some um, commissioners and we went into the table to where they actually set the people that give out fishing quota. Fishing quota is the amount of allocated fish. In Irish waters we are allowed something like, in 16% of the waters we are allowed 4% of the catch. In most places around Ireland, fisher, French fishermen are allowed 6 to 7 times more fish in Irish waters. When we went into the meeting, at the table, there were two Spaniards, two French, a Dutch and a Belgian. And these are the people that dictate how much fish is given to each country in our waters. Which means that there was no one from Ireland, there was no one from any neutral country dishing out their quotas. They were giving them to their own. So, the French have up to 40% more monk quota than we have. We have 10%. Any day, Irish fishermen are forced to dump maybe up to, in a year, up to a million euro worth of fish. Um, the Belgians have more quota than us, the French, the Spanish. If, if, when an Irish fishing boat goes to sea, it will catch maybe 14 species of fish. Out of that, up to 45 species are dumped every day into the sea, dead. That's because the common fishery policy forces fishermen to go, to go to sea. We're allowed to go to sea, we're allowed to fish, we can stay fishing all day. Every boat in Europe can fish all day, every day, and dump and dump, providing they bring in nothing more than their allocated catch. That means that there's up to 2 million tonne worth of fish dumped into EU waters by a very bad common fishery policy every year. That at a time when half this world is starving. When Europe is importing, it's estimated 10.5 million euro worth of fish into Europe because Europe does not have enough fish to supply its 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 fishing in its, its fish, fish sorry its markets. We are the fishermen are forced to dump two million euro. We're con we're not as right. So we're not anti Europe. We're anti bad fishery policies. Common fishery policy, which made a common access to our asset of Irish waters, means that Irish waters became a hunting fishing ground, a happy hunting ground for every European fisherman, bar Irish fishermen. It is estimated that off the west coast of Ireland, where most, uh, where up to 200 million tonnes of fish is caught every year, 
When Spain joined, for example, <coughs> they had more fishing boats than the rest of Europe was together, but they had no fish left in their sea. So they were given the right to fish in Irish waters. There's a lot of talk at the moment about Iceland joining Europe. When we speak to Icelandic fishermen, and Europe is very, would like them to join, but because of the bad, common, uh, bad policies Europe has had on fisheries, I think that you know, they're not so eager to do so. <coughs> Looking at the way the, the, the votes are at the moment, it's, it's almost like the fishing quotas. Germany, 8, would increase to 17. Spain and France, 8, would increase to 12. Ireland's 2% would be 0.8. So how are we ever, ever going to come to, to, to get any rights for Irish fishermen if we lose more and more of our, of our rights. What we have gotten over the last number of years from Europe is a decommissioning. And that meant that they paid us to break up boats. And I saw fishermen around this coast actually cry as, you know, generations and generations of fishermen who went to sea, who got a sustainable living from, the, from fishing, had to break up their boats because they couldn't anymore earn a living. While French boats just around the co just outside them, were allowed would, are allowed to catch ten, six to seven times, up to ten times more fishing than they are in our own waters. Um, I'll read something that an English guy wrote there in 1972 when England was joining. I cannot recall another example in history of a free country without compulsion from, from outside entry on an arrangement so damaging to itself. An arrangement so damaging, equal access, that's to a common resource. That's what we got from Europe. You wonder in Dublin, what can, what, you know, what, what, what can he got to do with fisheries? Like Dublin is, is a fishing, is a coastal city. Just out the road in Holt, Van Bregan, Clarehead, are communities that have been devastated. I mean, I'm sure if you walk out to Holt, you'll have seen going back to the years a lot more fishing boats than you see today. Where I come from in County Waterford, when I was young, my father fished out of Helvick. We had a good fisheries. But when we joined the common market, we were told that we would get better prices for our fish, that we would have a better future. I spent my days on the pier with